Whipworms. What are whipworms? Whipworms are an intestinal parasite found in dogs and cats. They are shaped like a whip, which is where they get their name. They live in the lining of the intestine and feed on blood and other tissue fluids. This worm is transmitted to dogs when they ingest infested matter or come in contact with other infected animals. Whipworm eggs can live in the environment anywhere from a few months to years. They can be found in soil, food, water, animal flesh, or even feces. Whipworms live in the appendix and the colon, or large intestine. When you are infected with whipworms, you experience watery, bloody diarrhea, and weight loss. Whipworms are one of the most pathogenic worms found in dogs. Whipworm eggs are resistant to drying and heat, so they can remain alive in the environment for up to five years. Once their eggs are laid, they mature in the environment, and they are able to reinfect the dog in 10 to 60 days. The eggs can be swallowed and hatch and mature inside of the lower intestinal tract. Whipworm infections are common in dogs throughout the United States. There have been reports of people being infected with these worms. Most of the time though, humans are most often infected with the human whipworm. So just how common are whipworms? Whipworms can occur in dogs, foxes, and even coyotes. When tested, samples of dogs in the United States in shelters and at veterinary teaching hospitals, whipworms were found in almost 15% of the animals and 10% of dogs. However, there may be far more infections than that because these tests were based on recovering pets and bringing them to these areas. This does not include your household pet or pets that were not found in shelters or in veterinary hospitals. And also, the eggs are not always shed, and eggs are not shed immediately upon infection or even maturity. So it is possible that infections may occur or be missed, meaning that the true infection rates could be much higher. Approximately 600 to 800 million people around the world have a whipworm infection. Whipworms can cause different diseases from whipworm disease, anemia, anorexia, to inflamed intestines. So, what are the symptoms you ask? Well, whipworm disease often has no symptoms. However, heavy infection may cause on and off stomach pain, bloody stools, diarrhea, and weight loss. Severe infections in young children can result in bloody diarrhea and a condition called rectal prolapse. Rectal prolapse is when the tissue that lines the rectum falls down into or sticks through the anal opening. It can cause severe irritation in the intestines. People with heavy infections can experience frequent painful passage of stool that contains a mixture of mucus, water, and even blood. The diarrhea typically has a very bad smell. In severe cases, growth retardation can occur, especially in children, and when children have heavy infections, they can also experience impaired cognitive development. <laughs> Treatment. Medicines that kill parasites, aka antiparasitic medication, is used to treat whipworm infections since they are parasites. Here are some of the current treatment methods for whipworms. The image shows drugs, but there are also natural, aka holistic treatments available for whipworm infections as well. Natural remedies are safer for people who are pregnant or who are much more fragile or sensitive. 
For these kinds of treatments, it is best to contact a holistic doctor that you know and trust to advise you on options available to treat these kinds of whipworm infections. You shouldn't just experiment yourself because some natural medications on the market contain parasites themselves or they may become toxic to the body quickly or over time. So it can be dangerous to self-medicate yourself or your pet without consulting another person for advice ahead of time, especially someone who is knowledgeable when it comes to natural medicine. It is better to be safe than sorry.